Funding provided by a generous grant from Plastic Monkey Toys, the Plattenthal Foundation, and generous viewers like you. Sometimes names are self-fulfilling prophecies, and sometimes they are not. Francis Bartholomew Hero Man, part of a long line of Hero Mans, was always poised to become what his name described, a hero. But instead, the path he chose time and time again was the path of the fuck up. Yeah, well, he was a pervert and a misogynist, but he was family. Dumber than a bag of hammers. <laughs> But sometimes a fuck up must fall before he rises a hero. The Hero Man action figure line was a classic victim of bad timing. His not so mediocre rise was cut short by the release of a less subtle but more popular action figure, Extreme Kill Death, that had the good fortune to have a major motion picture out the same year driving its sales, while Hero Man and his cast of characters were callously relegated to a syndicated Japanese anime program that ran between the hours of 1 and 2 a.m. It is surmised that this lack of popular recognition did not sit well with our particular hero man and made him, well, not right in the head. But that would all change on the fateful day we have all come to call the Night of the Long Grass. Francis Bartholomew Hero Man had fallen in with a group of ne'er-do-wells who eventually drove him out into the world. While few details are known of his journey and his trials, some say that they saw him, met him, and were touched by him. Sure I saw him. He was an asshole. Well, uh... I'll never forget his hallowed refrain, Thundercats Ho. I think that was probably Lion-O. Don't you contradict me, you little shit. But stories conflict. Oh, yeah. I, uh, <clears throat> I met him. He, he, he saved my cat. You have a cat. But what about Snoop? Oh, good grief. Um, please don't tell him. It's, he doesn't, he doesn't know about buttons. But history is built on stories. The stories of the survivors. October 25th, 2013. Little Jenny Toback, seven action figures shy of her diorama reenactment of the Little Mermaid's marriage to Lego Indiana Jones, appropriates several of her brother's action figures, an act she will later classify as borrowing. Forgetting that this was also the day that One Direction concert tickets went on sale, and in a careless act that would forever change the lives of seven action figures, she leaves them, forgotten, all out in the tall grass of the backyard. The family's gardener, Victor Santo Lopez de Gracia Nostros Suenos de Lujador de Mi Amor Pendejo had not tended to the house for several weeks, having been caught up in the excitement that was World Cup fever. And his failure to keep up with the maintenance of the family's lawn had allowed the grass to grow unreasonably tall, hiding any and all things that may be lying in its thickets. An act Victor had hoped to remedy on the same day that Jenny left the toys in the backyard. With mower and blower in hand, he set about to manicure the neglected landscape. Todavía no entiendo por qué me quieres entrevistar. Okay, pero voy a necesitar más que 20 dólares si quieres que chupe tu verga. Me llamo Víctor, soy jardinero, y también me gusta el fútbol. A day which will live in infamy. I thought I was mulch. But you know the rules, I couldn't run, the gardener would have seen me. And then... Just before the mower blade snicked me into a thousand pieces, there he was, this blue blur of flexing butt cheeks, dragging me out to safety. And then he went in to save the others. <laughs> All right. There, I laid down. 
There was nothing I could do. I had already lost my legs. And the roar of the motor was like a, like a train or a tornado. I just closed my eyes. And I was gone. I, Cape Tiro pulled me from the blades of death with no thought to his own personal safety and complete disregard for the rules. I mean, anyone could have seen what he did, but he didn't care. The beautiful bastard didn't care. I wish he would have stayed around long enough for me to thank him. He's a hero. A real hero. Not everyone survived that tragic day, but if not for this mystery hero, they all would have surely perished. And sadly, that was the last anyone ever saw of the blue-caped hero. Where he is now is still a mystery. A mystery for the ages. Good night.